Welcome on site to another Just Video Walls micro LED installation. We are here in Beverly Hills, California, and I'm gonna take you through just the overview of what's involved with installing a micro LED system. So when you arrive on site, the first thing you're gonna do is take inventory. You know, we've got this pulled up here on our laptop. We send this with every single job so you know exactly what's in every single crate that comes with a Just Video Wall system. For example, in this crate, we have all of our cabinets. Everything is pre-labeled for your convenience so you know where everything is supposed to go without having to figure it out yourself. All that's done for you by Just Video Walls. Once you have that done, you want to take a layout and figure exactly what's going on on the wall and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. So you see right now we have the general outline of where the wall is going to be taped off. We can see that we have our power and our data ready to go here, so we want to verify that all of those look good and everything here is as it should be. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just taking some of the brackets, some of the vertical brackets for this particular install and the cabinet, and we're performing a test fit to make sure that all this is gonna line up and work well together before we start putting things on the wall. All right, so as we get ready to install this micro LED system, I wanted to talk to you about some of the reasons why we chose micro LED for this installation in the first place. Number one, look at this blue tape on the wall here. This is not an aspect ratio that you can get with a TV. In fact, when we say micro LED, we're not talking about a TV at all. And you'll see why that is as the install progresses. But second, look at this window over here. There is an incredibly high amount of ambient light coming out of, the, out of this window. And the last thing that you wanna do as a homeowner is have to close these blinds and these shades just so you can enjoy something on the TV or on your micro LED display. And so what micro LED does is it allows us to have a display, we call it a canvas, in an environment with an insanely high level of ambient light, such as the environment we're in, without having to control that ambient light. So you can enjoy this while also enjoying the thing that you paid for in the home, which is the view. So that's what Just Video Walls does, is we manufacture we have our own spec of micro LED systems that allow customers to do exactly that, is to have an incredibly nice, unique aspect ratio screen, but also exist at the same time as the ambient light from the windows outside. Okay, first thing we should do when we arrive on site, other than checking inventory and making sure that everything is here, is check the, the wall and make sure that it's prepared and ready for us to install our micro LED system. So if we're using a bracket, we wanna make sure that the locations for where we're gonna be mounting those brackets are all prepared and ready to go. We wanna check for data, make sure that we have the right number of cat cables as specified in your JBW specification tool. And also for your power locations and make sure those are located in the right areas with the right amperage uh, for each of those connections. And then once we've done that, we can lay out and kind of position our wall where it's supposed to be. And then we use a laser level, as you can see here, to make sure that everything is perfectly level for when we start mounting cabinets on the wall. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna start preparing your bracket materials for them to go on the wall. So what we like to do is we like to get all of our inventory of our brackets and lay them out on the wall before we start mounting things. That way it's easy for us to get things going and align them all properly without having to dig through crates every single time. All right, so we have our first bracket up and we've taken great care on this first bracket to ensure that it's perfectly aligned with our laser because what happens is, is if this is off by even one degree, it can result in a much greater difference as we go down the line and install all the rest of the bracketry and then the cabinets. This is actually the most critical part of any micro LED installation is getting this first cabinet and bracket aligned properly. This is our spacer system, so this tells us exactly how far the brackets need to be apart. So what we're doing now is we're getting the second bracket aligned using a spacer system on this particular bracket design, which allows us to make sure that each of the brackets is properly spaced all the way down the wall. All right, so we've got two brackets up, and before we proceed with anything, we wanna do a test fit of one of the cabinets to make sure that everything is aligned. Okay, so next for the installation, what we do is we connect three of the cabinets together to make things easier. We get them perfectly aligned on a flat surface, and then we mount all three of them. In this case, we're doing them by column, but you could do them by row as well. Okay, we have our second column of cabinets in, and at this point, we're just hand tightening everything. We're not locking it down super tight. We'll do that at the last stage when we're done installing all the cabinets and we can make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. Okay, so we've come to our third column here in the system, and this is the point at which it's time to start routing cables through into the cabinets. 
Um, so in the wiring diagram that you receive with the wall that you purchased from Just Video Walls, you'll know exactly where the wires are supposed to go and that'll all be laid out for you. So you won't have to do any math and try to figure out where these things go. And in the kit that you receive also, you'll see all of the interconnects all ready to go for you as well, color coded so you know exactly which cabinet they're supposed to go to and how they're supposed to connect together. But at this stage, we're just wiring those in through the front, including power down here at the bottom so that you can be ready to get those connected to each cabinet in a later step. So one thing that we do at Just Video Walls with these video cards is we spec the absolute best quality video card that we can for every single installation that uh, a Just Video Walls micro LED system goes into. The reason why we do that is because a low quality video card can cause lots of fidelity issues. We can reduce your bit rates, reduce the amount of colors that you see on screen, and ultimately it's just not the right experience for a high-end video wall system. So we specify the best video cards that we possibly can. We also have the best possible power supplies that we possibly can. Now we could have skimped on these things. We could have gone with lower quality components and saved a lot of uh, dollars in the process, but ultimately that only hurts you, the consumer. And uh, we felt like it was necessary for us to have the best possible parts to ensure the longevity for your wall, but also the quality of it and, and your experience of it in your, uh, in your home. Also on the board here, we can see that we have A and B inputs and outputs. and it, the board doesn't care which direction they go as long as they're in the same channel. So when we daisy chain our data from one board to the other, we can come in or out either of those uh, channels. And then also on this board, we can see that we have a fully redundant uh, system over here. It's not installed on this board, but you can see where those would go if uh, we did have that on this wall. We would have an additional receiving card here and an additional power supply, which would allow the system to have a complete backup if anything ever failed on one side of it. All right, so now we've got all the cabinets up. And so the first thing that we did was we got power connected to all the cabinets and then we turned the circuit breaker on. So we can see that each of these indicators is showing that we're receiving power at each one of these hubs. Um, and so what we're doing now is we're making all of these interconnects. And so these are the colored interconnect cables that I spoke about before. And so what these are doing is uh, connecting and daisy chaining these cabinets together. Our first connection will come from whatever has been pre-wired into the wall. And so that's routing out to the first connection and then that will daisy chain down to the next cabinet, so on and so forth. So the next step for us is to get all these connected, make sure the connections are secure and then check that we're receiving those connections in the processor. The reason why we wanna do that before putting the modules up is so we can troubleshoot any potential issues uh, before we go through the process of getting modules in, which makes it just faster and easier for us in the long run. And so the very last component is the module. And so in this case, we're dealing with an HOB module. And so these modules, as you can see on the back, have this blue connector. And we take these modules and we magnetically slot these in and again, stack them like Lego until we have one seamless surface all the way across. And after that, we can do all sorts of fun things like mapping content to various areas. We have control of every single pixel that's on the wall. So we can then, you know, create sections where we have feeds coming in and maybe there's a background and do different layers however we want. In this case, this is a 32 by nine system. And so it's the, the width of two 16 by nines stacked next to each other, which allows us to do a lot of really cool creative stuff. All right, so we got all the modules in. The installation is officially complete. I don't know if you noticed, but as we were going, we made sure to do some minor fine tuning, uh, but we still haven't come back and done the full fine tuning and aligned all of the modules. So if you look really close, you can see some gaps here and there. So the final step for us is to align those and fine tune them, make sure that they're all as even as possible. Uh, and then we can start setting up presets and uh, different quadrants and multi-layering uh, inside the wall and the processor. All right, job is done, the wall is in. The only remaining item is to set our inputs and to set our presets. So we're gonna show you what that looks like. If you have any questions on micro LED or would like to learn more and become a dealer, an authorized dealer for Just Video Walls, we would love to talk to you. So come find us at justvideowalls.com and we will get you set up as an authorized dealer so you can create amazing experiences just like the one behind us.